Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, are risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf of the you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. Um, this lesson, okay. It's going to be entitled Men ought always to pray And not to faint Okay Men ought always to pray And not to faint You know And this is um, You know Taken out of the scriptures This is something what our Lord said right Um So To the spirit and power of the Abba Shemiah Shai Spirit is on me to, to, to go into this, do a lesson on it real quick, you know. Um, I'm going to start right there with that same scripture. Uh, this is Luke, Luke chapter 18 and verse 1, all right? And it says, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. You see? And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. So, that precept right there, okay, is what's going to be um, the focus of this lesson. That men ought always to pray, okay? You got to pray to the Lord, man. Keep an open line, an open communication with you, okay? And your power, man. Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai, okay? Through the Son, Yahweh Shai, because you know we cannot go directly to the Heavenly Father. We got to um, we gotta pray through the Son. Whatever we ask, we got to ask in the name of Yahweh Shai. You see? Okay? So, but yeah. When you um, when you in um, trouble, okay, having going through tribulation, hardships, okay, um, adversity, whatever whatever it might be, you know, uh, temptation, whatever it might be, you got to pray, man. You see, you got to pray. All right. Um, remember the Lord the Lord uh, told us okay actually showed us in the scriptures how to pray you see actually let me just go to that All right let's let's go let's go to the book of Matthew because we were told and shown through the scriptures okay how to pray this is Matthew chapter 6 let's start with that Okay, it says, after this manner, therefore, this is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 9. It says, after this manner, therefore, pray ye. So this is red letters, this is our Lord Yahweh Shai. It says, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. Now lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Okay. I'm going to come back to this word evil. For, for thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the glory. Forever. Amen. Alright. It says. But deliver us from evil. Now. We know this word evil is a compound, compound word. When you break it down. It means bad time, okay? 
Eve meaning um, time and ill meaning bad. So I said, but deliver us from evil. So this is what the reason. This is what you gotta pray for to be delivered from whatever adver uh, 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 adversity, tribulation, trouble, evil, bad time, whatever it might be. You gotta pray, man. Instead of fainting, okay. It would, it, would, it would behoove you to pray to the Lord instead of doubting. You see? Because at the end of the day, all right, the Most High is in control of all things. And mercy and wrath come of the Lord. So you seeking the Lord's mercy it would behoove you to take heed to his word and pray unto him, man, rather than fainting. You see? Now, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go to the book of 2nd Ezra and I'm going to get 2nd uh, Ezra the 16th chapter All right, and I'm going to jump in here at verse um, 74 because a time of trouble is coming right you got to be prepared you got to be rooted in the word of the Lord man you got to be uh, 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 grounded in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai alright for the, for, the, for the test that's going to come alright remember uh, uh, the scripture speaks about the whole world being tried. Okay, uh, Revelation chapter three and verse um, ten. Okay, but I'm gonna get this real quick. This is Second Ezra chapter sixteen at verse six, at verse seventy-four. It says, "Here, O ye, my beloved," said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Right, Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah thirty and seven. It says, "But I will deliver you from the same, the elect." Okay, it says, "Be not afraid, neither doubt." You see, doubt going to duel, mean double-minded. You're not sure. See, this is why you got to be rooted and pick your side. Okay, know that Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is your power, and you gotta, you got, you gotta stop it there. Know that, all right? There is no plan B. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that's it. No plan B. You are going straight forward. You see? It says, "Be not afraid." All right. Neither doubt for the Most High. Is your guide, and this is why you ought to pray rather than to faint, knowing that the Most High is your guide, knowing that the Most High is in control of all things, whatever is in front of you or before you. All right, remember the scripture speaks about the Most High will not give you more than you can bear, man. So, whatever it is, you got to go through the straight gate to get to the kingdom, man. You got to go through it to get to it. You see, so you don't want to faint, you don't want to doubt, you want to keep the faith and fight the good fight of faith. Okay, remember the scripture say the uh, 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 strive for the truth unto death, and, and the Lord and the Lord shall fight for thee. Okay, the scriptures tell you how the Lord never say, forsake any of those that call upon Him, man. Okay, uh, 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 Sirach, the second chapter and the tenth verse. Okay, it says, "Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide." So you want to pray to the Lord in any situation rather than fainting. Okay. It says, and the guide of them that keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So don't don't condemn yourself, okay? As the book of Tobit, uh, chapter 13 and verse 6 says, see what he would do with you, man. Give the Lord a chance. Pray unto him rather than fainting, okay, and throwing in the towel. But it, 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 it behoove you to just pray to the Lord and keep the faith. Keep going. Keep pushing forward, all right? Verse 77, it says, Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities like as a field is covered over with bushes and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. Okay, a lot of people, they feel convicted in their spirit and they condemn themselves. But you ain't supposed to condemn yourself, man. The scripture speaks about a, a righteous man or a just man uh, fall at seven times, but he get back up. You got to get back up, keep pushing and keep fighting, man. Okay, verse 78, it says, It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith, right? So that's if you're not adhering to the words of the Lord and you're convicting yourself and condemning yourself in the spirit, man. That could happen if you if you if you do that. But that's 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 you basically fainting and being double minded because you 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 are you condemning yourself, man. You're not giving the Lord a chance. Give the Lord a chance. Okay, you done extol folly to the cloud. How about how about uh, 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 the righteous challenge, man? I did a video on that before. How about doing the righteous challenge, man? All these other folly things 
You done did it before. You done tried before. You done did the folly challenge and all the other follies that you could think of. How about doing the righteous challenge and turning to the Lord, seeking the Lord, doing the, th the things that's pleasing in his sight, okay? Praying unto the Lord, man. So, and the day, uh, 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 and, the, and, 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 and the day of the, uh, the return of the Lord, you could have a hedge of protection because you would be one of his if you are uh, uh, predestinated from the foundation of the earth, okay? You see? So, it will behoove you to seek the Lord and pray unto the Lord, man, rather than faith. You see? Now, let's get some scriptures on prior. Okay? Let's get some scriptures on prior real quick. This is uh, the book of... Um, this is the book of... Uh, Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach. The 43rd chapter. Right? And uh, the 30th verse. And it reads... When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. You see? You can never go far enough, man. Okay? You got you to gotta seek the Lord, man. Pray unto him. Put forth all your strength, man. You see? He, 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 yet will he far exceed, man. We, we can never go far enough. We got to continue to pray, man. You see? Prayer is a strong thing, especially in the Hebrew, man. Especially in the Hebrew, man. You said prayer is in the Hebrew. Okay? They have a much stronger effect, man. Okay, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Right? Uh, the point is 17. I'll start at verse 16. It says, rejoicing evermore. Okay? Verse 17, it says, pray without ceasing. So we're supposed to pray without ceasing, man. You see? Rather than fainting. Any situation you win, pray to the Lord. That's what you need to do. Okay, verse 18. Verse 17, again, it says, Pray without ceasing. 18. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, concerning you. Verse 19 says, To quench not the spirit. Verse 20, Despise not the prophesyings. You see? So, amen. It will behoove you to pray unto the Lord, man, rather than fainting, man. You see? Now, we're going to end it right here in the book of Ephesians, all right? We can close it right here, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, all right? I'm going to jump in here at the uh, 10th verse. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And that begins through prayer, man. You got to pray, man. Okay, man ought, man ought always to pray and not faint, you see? Verse uh, 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You see? Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Right, having done all to stand. Reading the scriptures, praying, fasting. Whatever you got to do, man. You see? It says, Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having, an, having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Right? The shield of faith, man. You all right? You need that faith so you wouldn't be double-minded. You got to be strong in the faith. You see, verse 17, it says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You see? Verse 18, and this is the point. We're going to end it right here. It says, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18. It says, praying always. All right? Praying always. Man ought to pray. Man ought always to pray rather than faint, man. You see? It says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints, man. So you see? You, you got to keep, you got to keep, you got to keep praying, man. All right? Keep the mean thing the mean thing. Stay in prayer, man. All right? Men ought always to pray and not to faint, man. So, that's the end of the lesson. Lord willing, you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.